Hi guys, this is Wojtas from Verb. I'd like to guide you to the present remote today. We are in Verb dashboard. Once you logged in to your dashboard, you can see all the beings. And here, in our case, there are presenter beings and we can go with Wojciech Verb. This is the presenter style being. Uh, in uh, my case, I was logged in automatically, but normally you would have to set your own password to each of your verbs. It's due to security reasons, so just remember that uh, you will have to set the separate passwords for each being. Of course, it can be the same passwords if you want, but we recommend to use different pa passwords. So, in, in the presenter mode, we are able to put the presenter being in the on in the web or in the unity application uh, or in a VR or AR and it will be a, a being that is can communicate only one way meaning it will present some information and some content to the user the only way to for the user to communicate with it it will be through the buttons so let's go from the start. Uh, first, we would love to customize the appearance of our verb. So in the main dashboard, we go directly to edit web appearance mode. And here we can see that we can choose from RPM model or verb model. When we use the verb model, we can choose from built in models like here, but we would love to use RPM model. So once you've created your model with Ready Player Me, you will just have to paste the link over here, click Save Changes, maybe change the background if you want. I think the bluish is the nicest. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Uh, then we go directly to the presentation editor where we can set different presentations and here we work with something called scripts. Scripts uh, are the way that we present the content. We can create various scripts in order to present different contents. And we can jump from one script to another or present one script at one time and other script at other time. So at the start we have, we have here three scripts welcome food and the drinks but i think we'll go with the new one we will go with goodbye script so we click add script it shows over here we go to it we change the name into goodbye script and we can choose from various of voices of course so let's use um Sonia this time. English Sonia Naro. Okay. So we have it over here. And in order to test it, we will have to first add some paragraphs, then generate the presentation, and then see how it sounds. Okay. So let's go and add a paragraph. Goodbye script. Okay, so we already, I think I clicked too many times, sorry about that. We will delete. Okay, actually we will stay with three paragraphs. So first of all, we will say, this is the end of the presentation. There are few last slides to show. Okay, and this will be the text that will be displayed uh, as the first slide. So now we will add something to it. In order to add some additional content to the presentation, we actually use the button Add Behavior. So we got to Add Behavior and we will use those three cards over here that are the most important to us. First are buttons, we can use and add uh, 
buttons in order to guide us to some uh, external URL. So first will be goodbye. Then we will have also go to website. And we need some URLs for that. Verb. Okay, we will use this one for this and for this. Is there a web page called goodbye.com? Oh, okay. Let's use this one. So we have already two links over here. So there will be two buttons that will show up in the final page with save changes. Okay, the, the paragraph has been updated. Uh, now we want to put inside uh, some content in terms of images. Uh, it can be actually at this time PDF converted into, uh, into pictures. In the future there will be a way to put the content inside our system. Right now we have to use the external URL, so either you are somehow um, keeping uh, it on your drive or in your cloud, or you can use uh, pictures from the internet if you really want. So we'll go with goodbye, but not .com. Sorry about that. Okay, we're in Google, goodbye, and images. Let's go with this one. So we're here. It's a stock photo. We only use it for this presentation. Uh, so let's copy the link and then go back to our presentation. Paste image URL. Oh, there's something not good with this image. Okay, so let's use some other one. Maybe this one. Copy the URL. Ah, okay, so we're here. We have it. We click save changes. We're fine. And then we will need another picture. Because right now we put it slide inside, meaning that if we go back, we generate the presentation because this is what you have to do when you put the information in a paragraph. Let's generate. Okay, it's here. And now we can test it directly in the widget mode. But we actually want to test it in a component preview. So let's go with it. Sorry, I didn't do one thing, because here we choose which script do we start from. So right now we are starting with welcome script, but we want to go with goodbye script. So we change it to goodbye script. Generate presentation, it's up to date. So now when we go again to overview, Component preview, it should present the goodbye script. This is the end of the presentation. This is the end of the presentation. There are a few last slides to show. Yeah. So as you can see, it speaks female voice right now as I chose it. There are two links that we can click and go. So we can go with goodbye or go to website. And it directs us to the website that we want. Uh, there's a slide over here that can be larger so we can make it larger or make it smaller so that we can see everything in it and then we can click continue so this is actually the only way that we can interact with the virtual being in the presenter mode we click on the buttons there is no content after the paragraph number one so I'm not gonna click it so let's go by Let's go back to the presentation editor 
and to our paragraph number one, edit behavior, we have buttons. We have one button actually, the other was deleted somehow. Uh, ah, sorry, it's not the script. Goodbye script, edit behavior. So we have two buttons, we have one slide, and there are also cards. Uh, cards can only be some external, uh, can be also be some external uh, stuff that we can add to our presentation, only it will display in the text of the conversation. So we can go, for example, with, um, with the photo, time to say goodbye. Oh, no, it's, it's a stock photo, so it won't work. Um, maybe with time to say goodbye. So this is again the stock photo, it will use, be used only for this presentation. We add the card, we add the photo, we will name it goodbye, and it is an extern external link. Oh, we can actually put external link to, to it, meaning that we will be guided directly to the website. So if you have a if you have uh, a s internet store and you want to display the photo of a product and then guide your client directly to the website with that product, you will just use this add cart button. So let's go with this link. It doesn't matter right now. Save. Okay, we have it. Save changes. Paragraph was updated. We go back, we generate presentation, and we can check it out in the component preview mode. This is the end of the presentation. This is the end of the presentation. There are a few last slides to show. So you can see all this content was put inside paragraph number one. So we have a slide, we have a content here, and we can jump to the site. And we have buttons, but if we want to make it look much more better, we will just use the goodbye script and add some other paragraph, like new content, uh, and then how are you, and for how are you, and we can add here some behavior, so maybe let's go with another photo okay, this one we close, we close we will put a slide over here save changes okay, paragraph and then paragraph number three how are you? and here we will do something different. As I told you at the beginning, we can direct user from one script to another script. If we want to make larger presentations or put more content, or in any case, just guide our client to a different conversation, then we can add a script change. So what we will do over here, we will add a script change button, and then we will move to welcome change script to welcome, but we can also go to food. So we can give a choice to our user, food. And the question will be, where do you want to go, right? So we have to generate the presentation once again. Let's go to overview, component preview, and then let's see what happens. This is the end of the presentation. This is the end of the presentation. There are a few last slides to show. Okay, so again, we have here the content, we have the buttons. In order to move further, we click continue. 
new content. So here's new content, our new photo as well. And then continue. Where do you want to go? Okay, and now we can go to the welcome script or food script. Let's go to welcome script. Hi, I am a virtual presenter. I would love to tell you my story. So, as you can see, we went to a different script. We went to a script uh, with uh, welcome and with coffee with different voice because we can choose a different voice in different languages actually for different scripts. And then it directs us to other place, maybe coffee. Okay, so there's website that doesn't work. Okay, continue. Well, maybe not the whole story, but more or less what I like. It will be in Polish and I will tell you about my hobbies, food and drinks. And then, as you can see, there are, again, buttons that indicate the script change and we can go to food, to drinks or to another paragraph. More or less, it is everything that I wanted to show you right now. In case you have any questions, go directly to our website or to our Discord or to write us an email. Take care and have a good day. Bye!